All right, we're gonna fly from Las Vegas to Phoenix. Got some interesting weather, pretty high winds, 13 gusting 20 at 160. That's basically a direct crosswind. We'll pick our runway as we get closer. Up here at Las Vegas, preferred runway, 08 right or left. Control check. Full power. Airspeed's coming alive. We're gonna rotate at 150. Correction, we're gonna rotate at 130 and climb at 150. 130. Watch it for 150. Positive rate, gear up. One notch flaps coming out. Next notch of flaps. Gears up. Last notch of flaps coming out. Going back to anticipate. Trimming up, trimming up. Let's get the autopilot set up. Looks like uh, 250 is already in. 20,000 set. Should be 124 magnetic. 126, close enough. Looks like we're turning to 125. Airspeed is increasing, that's good. All right, looks like we're holding 250 knots. Climbing to 20,000 feet. Punch it through the clouds now. Very cool. Very cool. Alright, looks like we're leveling out here. Auto throttles pulling back. Over 250 knots, 20,000 feet. Alright, the plane's flying itself. So we need to plan our descent into Phoenix. 20,000 feet. Headed down to airport elevation of, call it 1,100. That's 19,000 feet to lose. Call it three miles for every thousand feet, essentially 60 miles. So 60 miles out, we'll start our descent. Yeah, we'll call it Echo 25. Shortly before we pass Wickenburg Municipal, we'll start our descent. So I figured out the autopilot most recently got the airspeed autopilot. You turn this dial to set the airspeed, this switch to turn it on. Then we've got heading. You turn this knob to the heading, tap that to pull it out, activate it. This is the VS or vertical speed setting. You can set it to uh, how fast you want it to climb or descend. I did miss this inner dial. This inner dial is the maximum bank angle. So it goes between 10 and 30. I've got it set to 20. Then we've got altitude. Here's the switch to turn on altitude autopilot. Uh, here's the dial to set the altitude and then tap that to pull it out to actually go to that altitude to activate it. Next thing I wanna figure out is how to use the autopilot with a flight plan navigation. Now that'll involve using the flight director here, which is kind of a big deal to learn. X-Plane's got a like 45 page manual on that and it, it looks to be pretty accurate. Looks like we're gonna be quarantined at home for a few weeks to the coronavirus, so that, that's on the bucket list. Let's get the weather. Radar looks pretty intimidating, but the METAR is showing lowest cloud layer at 6,000, that's fine. So we're at our descent point. We rehearsed this just a few minutes ago. We're gonna go down to 180 knots. Start slowing it down. 181, close enough. We're gonna turn to due south. Maximum bank angle 20 degrees. I'm gonna VS at minus 1500 feet. Let's stay ahead of the airplane and do some checks here. Looks like we will intersect the runway center line right about here. 40 miles out, so if it's 1,000 feet of altitude for every three nautical miles, 40 divided by three is about 13. So you need to be at 1,300 by the time we hit this intercept course. And we're on course for that. Let's slow the VS. We're actually a little ahead of that. This weather is actually looking better than these radar returns would suggest. A little less exciting than hope for, but that's fine. Let's shut this off so we can see better. And get positioned. We'll check back in when we're 
getting ready to turn on to our final approach. It looks like we're about to intercept the extended center line, so let's turn to it's runway 08, let's head to 080. Alright, turn to 080. Listen to that weather again. Phoenix Sky Harbor INTL information, Charlie. Wind 170 at 12. 170 at 12. 17 minus 8090. It is a direct crosswind at 12. So we will expect a right direct crosswind. Which means we'll be crabbing to the right, all the way down to the runway. Then we'll kick some left rudder, put in some right aileron. All right, we're coming up on our waypoint here. Let's start slowing it down to call it 180. Once we're below 200, we'll add the first notch of flaps. Airport not in sight. Actually, it looks like the weather is a little closer to what we were expecting. It's still exciting. All right, below 200, first notch of flaps. And indicating, second notch. You can see the flap indicator is right there. Third notch of flaps, and gear coming down. Let's get that altitude down to 4,000, which is 3,000 above ground. Let's get uh, another notch of flaps. And we're in the cloud. All right, we're on final approach. Deactivate all the autopilots. Heading. Off. And speed off. Last notch of flaps is coming in. Final approach speed's 140. We're looking for a heading of 080. We should start to see the runway soon. 1100 is our target altitude. Ah, got the runway in sight. Nice, nice. A little more throttle. There's that rain. Very cool. Very cool. More throttle, we're gonna hold this altitude. I have a feeling we're a little bit low. And if you look out the window, you can see the winds are pushing us to the left, which makes sense because we have a direct right crosswind. So, lined up at the runway now. We're gonna turn to the right, aim it into the wind, establish our crab angle. So we should be headed straight for the runway in course while pointed to the right. Holding about 150 knots, that looks good. We're reducing that throttle, getting back on course, bringing it down. 1,000 1, feet, looks pretty good. Three mile final runway 08. Flaps are full, gear is down, lights are on. We're in good shape. So we're gonna hold this crab angle all the way down. We're aiming, aiming a little bit to the right of the runway, into the wind. But still on a course down to the runway. It looks like I'm showing a little low on that poppy, but it's hard to see. I think I see four red lights. Let's increase throttle. Eighteen, it's about seven hundred feet AGL. Start slowing it down a little bit. Poppy's a little hard to see here. Pulling back on throttle. Coming down. We're gonna be down here at 140. Looking good. 400. Stair speed's good. I'm gonna head out to the right a little bit. Then I'm gonna straighten that nose wheel. Slip into the wind there. Looks good. A little bit fast. Pretty good. 100. 50, 40, 30. Looks 20, pretty good. 10. A little bit to the right. Throttle out. Wheels touch down. Full reverse thrust. The other rounds to the right, into the crosswind. Left rudder, left rudder, hold that center line. 
Warp speed's coming down. Some brakes. And kill those thrusts. Alright, welcome to Phoenix. Let's pull off the runway here and uh, then we'll get our bearings. Alright, and you can see the four flight automatically pulled up the taxi diagram. Very cool. Well guys, thanks for coming along. I'm not going to bore you with the uh, taxiing to the ramp. I was hoping for a little bit more of a challenge, but that right costume is pretty cool. Uh, next flight, I want to try and get that, uh, I want to try to get the autopilot running with the uh, navigation waypoints. So, tune back in, let's see if we can do it. Later.